Hi, I'm Wendy here at Hummingbird Kitchen. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make these cute little guys and we are going to be using a couple of our spatulas. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to continue to bring lots of fun recipes and ideas to you. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is use our little sticks and get them into our pops. This is our Wilton candy melts and it comes with directions on how to do that. As you can see, I'm pressing this into the filling so that it's flush so that we don't break our cookie. We want these to set aside to harden so we can handle them. This is our little bunny ears. We're gonna start out at the top with a, a narrow cut and making a little bit wider toward the end. And as you can see, we use the edge of the marshmallow. And then the inside of the ears, we're gonna just dip into our granulated sugar, as you see here, so that we can handle them better. And the next thing we're gonna do is make our little beaks for our chicks. This is a starburst, and we put it in the microwave on 50% power for about 10 seconds. And we're just gonna cut little triangles, just that simple. And we're gonna have those ready for when it's time to put our little chicks together. And as you can see, our little ears and feet of our lamb, this is a fondant, and we're just gonna roll it out. We're gonna use a tip 116, and then we're gonna press it a little bit. This is also opened up a little bit with a a knife to make it look more like ears. Then we're going to dip our cookies and this is our yellow candy for our little chicks. Getting our excess off. And then the next thing we're going to do is our, our little bunnies and our sheep. So it's important when you're doing the bunnies and sheep to let the candy still be liquid. The face that we're using is a candy melt, just flipped upside down. And then this is like a little candy sprinkle for the nose. And then all the little fluffy wool is a little mini marshmallow. And I just cut it up into four little pieces. And put our little ears and our feet in. And there's our little sheep. And here we go for our bunny. We're just going to place those ears at the top. And then our eyes and then a little M&M nose. As you can tell, it is very helpful for this to be liquid and wet still so that it can dry and they'll stay on there. In order to put our little chicks eyes and beaks on, we're just going to use some of that liquid candy to place them on there. There you go. This is perfect for little kids. If you have little ones that you want something to do with, this is perfect because obviously you can see their little fingers work better than our adult fingers. Finish it off with a little bow and stick it into a basket and here you go. Hope everyone enjoys it. Have a happy Easter and let us know what you think about it and how they worked out for you. 